Morning guys, it's Cal from Stickwise. So today we're going to be working on our 3D skills. Today we'll be showing how to move the ball from right to left into a reverse 3D skill, from left to right for an open stick 3D skill, and then some other tricks for the better players where we double tap the ball in the air. The key thing is always that after we do our 3D skill is that we accelerate forward. It's the whole point of a 3D skill like any elimination is to get behind a defender rather than just stand in front, almost like we're just showing them we've got all this skill, but not actually achieving the objective, which is we want to get past an, um, a defender from the opposition. Okay, so one of the most common problems I'm seeing in players at the moment is that they're getting their right hand far too low down the stick. There's three issues if their hand gets too low down the stick. Now the first issue is going to be that obviously with your hand low down the stick, that's going to take your body down. If your body goes down that low, then two things straight away. One is that you're not going to be able to run as fast and the second is that your vision goes down and that makes it more difficult to find passes or whatever it is that you're looking for on the field. The third thing is you're actually just not going to get as much power when you're pushing, which is a problem in younger players. And an easy, easy way to find out where a player should hold the stick in their right hand is just to get them to hold their stick straight up in the air. You then want to put the stick into the elbow and just get them to put their right hand straight on with their finger down the back. And that's pretty much 99% uh, accurate as to where the, each individual player should have their hand on the stick. Now, the reason we have our finger down the back, there's a number of reasons. I'm not going to get into those today, but if you look at the best players in the world, such as Ashley Jackson or Jamie Dwyer, Tone Denoyer, you'll find that they've all got their finger down the back when they're dribbling the ball. So it's a really important thing that we actually want to encourage our players to start doing, not discouraging. Um, reasons I believe that people discourage players is that they feel that their finger is going to get injured. It's not going to get injured. It's no more likely to get injured going down the back of the stick or at the front. Another key thing, really nice thing for a coaching point of view, is when you're coaching the in-dream dribble to younger players, is that when they're on the open stick, the finger's down the back of the stick, and yet when they turn that stick through the right hand, they should find that that, stick, that finger is pointing down the front of the stick. So it's just a nice, easy coaching aid that the finger is at the back and then at the front again. Common mistakes that younger players make when they're trying their 3D skills is flicking the ball when it's stationary or while ball carrying with the ball straight in front of them trying to lift it that way. Something that younger players work out for themselves is that it's quite easy to roll the ball back because the ball rolls up the stick. However, we want to discourage this because we run forwards, stop, bring the ball back away from the defender and then we go forward again. Ironically, players aren't actually that far away when they drag the ball backwards. The reason they do it is because the ball actually rolls up the stick and it's much easier than getting the stick under the ball. However, the way to do it is to ball the ball from one side to the other. This keeps momentum moving. As you can see, the ball still rolls up the stick, but it does mean that moving from that onto elimination actually is quite easy. So, right to left, up the stick, and then over and forward. There's a very simple drill that you can use when your players are first starting out on 3D lifting, which is just to move the ball from side to side, let the ball roll up the stick, and then just practice lifting it over an obstruction, whatever it may be, a stick, a set of cones, whatever. You can do this from right to left. You can also do this from left to right, as long as the concept is that they're getting lots of opportunities to learn how that ball feels when it's rolling up the face of the stick. The final step is the most important. Once you've moved the ball from side to side, whether it be a flat elimination or a 3D skill, is to make sure that you accelerate away from the opposing player that you've tried to eliminate. Too many players spend ages in front of a player having lots of touches, doing all their 3D skills, but they don't actually get behind the defender, to the side, and complete the elimination. That's the most important stage of all. This is a simple drill that I came up with just to help players work on their 3D skills. It keeps them moving, it keeps them bringing the ball from right to left or left to right and allowing that ball to roll up the stick and encourages that acceleration over the cone. You can do it both ways, so you can bring it left to right, lift and accelerate and then they can do as many loops as they want until they feel that they've got their skills honed in.
As your players get more practice and become more confident, they will start to do more advanced 3D skills. These skills are where the player will lift the ball in one direction, hoping to wrong foot the opposition. They will then, in mid-air, change the direction of the ball and go down the weaker side of the opposition. It's a really effective skill, but we do want to make sure that we keep those accelerations coming. So we can just add these skills into our loop so that we're still getting our moves, our double taps in the air, and our acceleration round, and just keeping that ball moving. It's really effective and you can use it on the open stick as well as the reverse. So open to reverse in the air and reverse to open in the air as well. These tricks in time with patience will become a formidable skill for all of your players. <laughs> Lastly, it's the footwork led 3D elimination skills. Most of what we've talked about today in order to lift the ball is to get the ball rolling up the stick. And we've encouraged this so far by moving the ball from right to left or left to right. However, one of the most effective ways to eliminate whether you lift the ball or not is actually to move your feet around the ball and then use your footwork to change direction and therefore being able to make the ball come up the stick nice and easy. The reason I'm a big fan of this is because when we use our reverse and we turn that stick over, we're giving away trigger points to opposition defenders. They know what we're doing, when we're going to do it, how we're going to do it. The beauty of this is there's no real signals, no cues to the defenders as to what we're going to do, when we're going to do it, and it makes it so much more difficult to defend. This is all about footwork and allowing that stick to get under the ball really easily and then eliminate. Thank <laughs> you.